I send one of my team, my, the, the farmer teams, to clear a road. Uh, there's a bunch of bushes and stuff you know, growing into the road, so it scratched the vehicles. And whilst they were busy clearing that road, they heard a gunshot. And uh, I was on the whole other side of the reserve uh, when they radioed me. So I speed back here just to confirm um, the direction and all of that. And uh, you know, to be sure, it's a gunshot because sometimes the, you will, like when an elephant breaks a tree or something, sometimes it can, you know, not similar to a gunshot, but you might think it's a gunshot. And uh, speed over to headquarters to pick up the standby anti-poaching team and I send them in a general direction to just to see if we can find tracks or you know tracks of jokers that's our word for, for poachers and uh, they about 40 minutes in they radioed me with uh, the news that they found fresh uh, tracks of poachers and uh, then I drove over to, because the deploy team was very clo close to where the gunshot was heard. And uh, I immediately also radioed them to, to figure out or to ask if they also heard the gunshot, but negative, they didn't hear it. I guess they were much further away or the wind, you know, if the wind blows in the wrong direction, the sound doesn't travel, travel that far. But anyway, I pick up the, the deploy team to assist the standby team in, in we call it leapfrog. When a track is heading somewhere, I send another team to, to check a road. The, the, the one team will give us a, a heading, uh, a bearing uh, of the tracks, and then we leapfrog. We jump ahead to see if there's tracks, and we did that, but couldn't find the tracks. So that means the poachers were still in that block. They haven't crossed any roads. But anyway, we, we tracked them, and eventually I yeah, lost the track, and then it got dark. So we we stopped the the mission and uh, made a plan to for the next day what we're gonna do and I uh, spent the night awake in an area that I know uh, the poachers to have you know been before where they exit and entry and all that so. Uh, but yeah, uh, there was nothing that night, so the next day we pick up where we left off, finding tracks and stuff, and uh, we did find the tracks again, uh, and I also sent a team to do a 360 at water holes, also where I know the poachers like to go, because there's some rhino activity. They found tracks, there's the same tracks, so then we had a new set of tracks to, to run on. And uh, yeah, we followed the tracks, followed the tracks, lost the tracks, find the tracks again. Uh, until, unfortunately, they there's another one uh, radioed me and said they found a, a fresh carcass. Um, the the initial tracking was on was on Monday. Then Tuesday, the whole day we spent uh, tracking, and so it's yeah, three days. Yeah. And the third day we found the carcass because uh, these poachers are professional and they that's their that's their job i mean that's they very very good at um, maneuvering through the bush without leaving too much tracks that's why we spend so many time figuring out you know which direction that they go uh, there's a lot of tricks they use to you know um, not leave tracks to make it difficult for us that buy that buys them more time to to get out um, but anyway, my anti-poaching team were trained well and they're awesome. And uh, yeah, they found the tracks and track it and we found the carcass. I'm sure they, they wouldn't, want, wouldn't have want us to find the carcass that quick. Because um, there's a lot of evidence at the carcass that will hopefully, you know, uh, assist or help to, to catch them. But uh, yeah, we, the carcass was hidden so well. I mean, that's another um, positive that I got from our anti-poaching guys. They, they're very good at uh, seeing 
stuff, but it was hidden very, very well. If, if you would have walked past it and not know it's there, if, you, if, if they were not on the tracks, uh, they used grass and bushes and dead trees and stuff to, to hide that. They do that so that the vultures and the hyenas won't give the location away. Um, because yeah, vultures can show you where a carcass is and the longer it takes for us to do the crime scene, the less evidence we find tracks. Um, because sometimes when the hyenas, well not sometimes, all the time, when the hyenas eat the rhino or the vultures, they will accidentally eat a bullet with and the, then the hyenas carry it away or the vultures fly fly away with it and that's what we want is the, is the bullet to you know to do ballistics to to help with catching them um, yesterday we did the crime scene of it we found four casings uh, 375s casings and obviously the the bullets i think there was one bullet through and through and the others yeah we dug out of the lungs and the head to, to, to find the, the bullets and uh, that is that's not uh, for the faint hearted um, yeah so the rhino that was shot uh, his name was Leon um, I uh, he was born here I, I saw him just a few months after he was born from uh, from I want to say day one and uh, through the years, you know, I saw him grow up in front of me um, on the trap cameras day in, day out. Well, week in, week out, I, I, I see him, you know, with, a, with the photos to, to monitor. So, and, you know, by doing that, I kind of have a relationship with the rhino. Um, I name them and, and, you know, I name the mothers. And, so, yeah, there's, there's some kind of relationship and, uh, you know, to, to find him, you know, down and out. At first, you know, I, I always try and see who it is, because and that's the first thing I want to know uh, is who is the rhino that's, that's you know gone. And yeah, I saw the notch in his ear, and uh, immediately I know yeah, it's a number ten notch. It's it's Leon, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 kind of difficult. Um, sometimes I think I shouldn't name them, but uh, yeah, I have a relationship with all rhinos, so uh, to. Yeah, to, to see him like that down and out and, and knowing his mother is still around, luckily, and, and you know, he's, he's, there was a, a, f a few other rhinos that was born the same, similar time as him, um, his friends, I mean, uh, to know that he's gone and they, they still, luckily, still, still around, you know, it's, it's hard. Yeah.